Okay, so we're on to the hip, and the hip is a little bit more complex than other areas. There's a lot of muscle attachments, and a lot of movements, a lot of resisted testing, and a lot of um, and a few joint mobs. Um, most of the active movements and overpressure and resisted, I'm going to do in sequence. Um, in other words, together. So what I'm going to have Fatty do first is do the active movements. I'm going to apply overpressure right there, and then I'm going to do resisted testing right there. And I'm going to go through flexion, and then I'm going to go through lateral rotation a meter rotation, abduction, adduction, and then extension. I'll have to turn Fatty on his tummy for that. Okay, so first what I'd like you to do, uh, this is the, uh, the left side is the effective and the right side is the unaffected, and we always create a baseline, test the unaffected side first to get a sense of the strength and the abilities of the uh, side that's not affected. So Fatty, what I'd like you to do is bend your knee and bring your hip up as far as you can in flexion. And from there, I'm gonna apply overpressure. I'm gonna do it a couple times to get a good sense. And then I'm going to, from there, from that position, I'm going to have uh, fatty resist my movement. I'm going to try to pull the hip down, and that's going to affect the rectus femoris and the iliopsoas. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Okay, from that position, I'm going to have fatty do lateral rotation. Could you do lateral rotation as far as you can? That's great. And then I'm going to apply overpressure and find that his hip is uh, pretty solid. And then I'm going to have him do meteor rotation. Turn your hip as far as you can. That's great. And I'm going to again apply overpressure. You notice how I'm stabilizing the lower leg with my arm and I'm stabilizing the knee and I'm applying overpressure there because you don't want to crank or hurt the knee. So you want to make sure it's stable. And from that position, I'm going to do resisted testing. So I'm going to push in this direction, Fatty. You just resist my movement. Ready? One, two, three four, five, and relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And that was testing the major six lateral rotators, and I'm gonna pull out this direction and resist my movement. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Okay, so we've done active flexion and lateral and medial rotation. Now we're going to do abduction adduction. So what I'd like you to do is come out and bring your leg out as far as you can and then let it relax. And I'm going to apply a little overpressure here. How's that stretch? Is that comfortable? Getting a tissue stretch there for an end feel and bringing it back. And then I'm going to, we're going to do resisted testing right from here first, okay? So resist my movement. We're going to test the abductors. One, two, three, four, five, relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And now it's a little trickier, but I'm going to have him bring his leg up, uh, bend his knee a little bit, bend this knee. That's great. Now, as far as you can, bring this leg across. That's great. And then I'm going to apply an overpressure in this direction to get a sense of feel of the end feel there, and it's more tissue approximation. And then I'm going to bring his leg down, and I'm going to push in this direction and test the, the uh, abducting muscles, okay, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, uh, the tensor fascia lata, iliotibia band, and some of the gluteal muscles. Okay, ready? Is this my movement? That's good. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Okay. So we've done flexion, medial rotation, lateral rotation, lateral rotation, abduction, adduction, and we have to do extension now. And for that, I'm going to have Fatty on his uh, stomach. So could you put your head right in there for me? Great. And yes, I have to go to the side, but that's okay. So what I need Fatty to do is to extend his hip as far as you can. And I would usually put my knee up on the table like this. Fatty, could you extend your leg as far as you can? Great, and relax, good. Now, if people have low back problems, you have to be careful of this movement, and you want to stabilize, uh, stabilize right on the, uh, the innominate bone and apply pressure back to find out if there's any kind of uh, pain or discomfort. You should get a tissue stretch there because it's stretching the rectus femoris. And after that, what I'm gonna have Fatty do is bring his leg down, but just hold it off the table a little bit, that's it. And I'm gonna apply pressure down, ready? One, two, three, four, five. And just relax for a second, good. And hold it again. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And just, just give it a break for a second and hold it again. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Great. 
Now, at this time, I can, since I'm in this position, I can easily do palpation. I'm going to do joint mobs from a um, prone position and not a, or from a supine position, but not a prone. So, what I'm going to do, do now is do some palpation of this region again, the glutes, the lateral rotators. You're looking for any kind of myofascial trigger point referral patterns. You're looking for contractures. You're looking for real tender and irritated areas. You'd want to test the, uh, the hamstrings as well for the same type of muscle lesions, irritation, hypertonicity, tension, tenderness, tone of the tissue. You want to get a sense of feel of the abductor muscles. Okay, all through this region, you want to get a good, get a good sense of the tissue. So after you've gone through and checked the glutes and the hamstrings, and the, you, know, you can also test, if you're able to from this position, palpate the tensor fascia lata and iliotibial bands if you're able to and after you've done that and after you've got a good sense of the tissue I'm gonna have fatty turn over turn over fatty for me great and so now what I want to do is I want to finish off uh, with joint plane although then I'll finish off with palpation on the quads and on the iliopsoas as well I believe so joint play there's a, there's a number of joint plays we can do and I'm gonna do one inflection, and then I'm going to do one in a long axis traction. So the one inflection fatty is that I bring your leg up to here, and if you know the structure of the, um, the acetabulum and the head of the femur, I'm going to do a distraction out in this direction to get a sense of movement and of any for any discomfort or irritation. Good. The other one I can do is simply, is like the pool cue technique, is I uh, grab the leg like this, and I, I guess this is probably the best way. You want to have your right hand above the knee because you don't want to be putting pressure on the knee and you want to just go out and just apply pressure in this direction falling away from the body and looking for any hypermobility or irritation um, from the client. Great. So those are the two main ones. There's a few other joint moves you can do but those will pretty much cover it. For palpation you want to palpate the, uh, the uh, vastus lateralis the tensor fascia lata. Again, looking for the same tissue lesions, irritation, and come down through here. Vastus medialis, intermedius. Again, you can check out the, the abductor muscles. And the vastus medialis. Again, looking for the same areas. Um, the one muscle we haven't checked, and I'm just gonna have Fatty flex his knee, is the iliopsoas. Maybe put your hand right there. They come in with the iliopsoas. You can check the iliopsoas for the lumbar spine, the SI joint, or the hip. So again, coming in comfortable there by the, by the uh, tummy button and applying pressure through there and getting a sense of, of the tissue. Now, what I want you to do is I'm going to put your leg, your knee in this position. I want you to resist my movement. I'm going to pull you down. That's it. Good. And relax, again, and relax, good. Just getting a sense of feel if there's any kind of irritation with the, uh, the um, iliopsoas. Um, so what we've done is we've done palpation of the musculature, we've done uh, resisted testing, we've done joint play, and we've done overpressure for the hip. And it's fairly in depth. There's a number of ways you can do it. This is one way. You can break it down into sections where you do overpressure, active movement and overpressure. Finish that off first bef before you do resistance. But I think if you do it in the sequence I've shown you, it's the easiest and most effective. So go now to Blackboard and answer the questions I have for you today.